I understand your trepidation. It says part two. I just watched the last episode, Tills. You had so much loot. What is going on? Well, let me spin you a yarn. Let me tell you a tale. The hardships of my day. I rejoined the server I was on. Everything was going great. I just ventured to the train yard. Oh no, it's a fucking zombie. How do you kill these fuckers? Oh my god. Oh my god, he had a double barrel? Hey, that, that's pretty good. Well, welcome to the Halloween update, my dudes. How are you all doing? Um, yeah, welcome to the new video. Hope everyone's doing good. If you could drop a like, if you do enjoy, thank you very much. Yeah, YouTube has been cucking me hard, you might have noticed recently, with some of my views and stuff, because it's just not pushing my videos out. So, if we could make uh, a really good thing, just any likes and comments this wi this wi whole wipe, this video in particular, are madly appreciated. So, yeah, gonna go and get on the grind today. Got some farming to do. We need to get the... Oh, there's a green box down there. I might go grab that. We need to get on the, the jackhammer approach. Go smash sulfur. We need to get our hands... Obviously, last week, last time's episode, if you didn't see it, was mental. The best start I have ever had and one of the best starts I've ever seen anyone have on YouTube. So, go check that out. But we need to get our hands on some proper stuff today. I'm talking satchels and stuff. So, we need to get sulfur and, yeah, let us get into this. And he's going off. Not a bad little farming run, that. Sugar ton of stone in this area. It's just getting sulfur. I probably need to lay down a couple more furnaces, actually. But right now, when I can't get my hands on anything else, like in terms of satchels, this is just all good. So after hours and hours of farming, I took myself over to the freshly dropped Chinook crate at water treatment. The server was quiet. It was the middle of the night. I knew I could get it. I knew I could get that loot home. The drop itself, meh, not so great. But I'd spent so long farming. I'd worked so hard. I had so much loot. I didn't care. What? Oh, you fucking diamond. Well, unsurprisingly, you know I'm going to take that all day long. Nice. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to go and try and raid using uh, these explosive, like, incendiary sh sh rounds here. Just see if they do any sort of damage. Never really done this before, but I thought, fuck it. I'd love to have, like, a silencer on here. Make this a silent little raid, but... Wow! Okay, that can't have been me that did all that damage, right? I can't jump over that, that's cool. Oh, it's metal anyway, fuck! How do these do against a metal door, by chance? Six rounds, let's just check it out, eh? Right, that didn't do any damage to that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Now my first airdrop of the wipe. Things were looking so, so good. Yes. Now I just somehow need to get my hands on explosives. Okay, so I think if I recycle the high velocity rocket that I have back at base that I got earlier, I think that means that I get an explosive from that. I think that's a quick Google check on that. If I do, we can research that and the C4, but we're gonna need so much scrap. It's gonna be off the chain. I'm gonna need, am I gonna need 1500 plus the, I'm gonna need like almost 3K scrap for this to be a thing. Wow, I guess we get to farming right now. That's a good start. And that's what it happened. My hopes dashed, my dreams crushed. The worst thing that could possibly happen to anyone playing Rust. The, the community server that I was on was gone. Disappeared from the server list. There was no chance of return to that server. It was dead. It was just gone. So instead of drowning my sorrows and sitting and wallowing in s disgrace and just, just, just sadness, I joined a new server. One that had wiped just the day before and I thought I had one goal in mind. Maybe, just maybe, I could get a raid done today. Dude, dude, I literally just spawned. I got a spear. If you want it, you can have it, man. 
Cool, alright, cheers. You're a diamond, mate. Yeah. Yeah, this will do. Oh, there you go. Hey, you did have cloth. Come on, man. Let's go. I think I think it's time. Basically, as I probably said, the whole plan of joining this server right now is to get a raid done or get, get a little bit of mischief. So the raid is the plan. I've got machetes right now. There's a wood structure over here that I have identified that I would love, love, love to raid right now. Remember, stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Great message from the random Rust community there. It's taking so long to like cook up all of the metal for the for the machetes because that's just the the whole plan here. I probably shouldn't have made the workbench when that is the only plan. But hey ho, oh, it's all going to be beyond that stone one, right? Fuck! How would I get out when I get in? So many questions. Fuck it. Let's go for the one I don't don't question yourself. Let's get started. Let's give this a go. If there's nothing here, there's nothing. Oh, actually, can I see through it? Not really. Yes. Let's just go through the door. Eh? Why not? Let's give it a go. I was going to go through the foundation, but it looks as though there might be a wall there, so if there's any chance that we can get through here, we'll give this a go. It's going to be so many machetes, though, man. That's if we don't flip and get killed while we're doing it. Let's have a quick search, just see how what the durability is of this sort of thing. Okay. Alright, 9 gets us just over 50 damage done not really enough for my liking to be honest ah come on dude no all right fuck i'm out and that my friends is where i rage quit for the night and oh my goodness let me tell you it had been a slog i can't even get over how hard i'd worked today for literally nothing and that is rust in a nutshell sometimes it goes well sometimes it goes badly but i knew i had to get myself back up on the rust horse so i joined another freshly wiped server but this time i knew this time i was going to get that raid done this time i was going to get my redemption and that ladies and gentlemen is what brings us to right now we are back but there are plenty of bases around plenty of stuff i'm a couple of days late to the wipe now because i just didn't want to play it but here we are I don't have any blueprints, we're going to build a base up, I'm not going to bore you again with another base build montage rubbish, because it's just, it's just, I, I'm getting, I just keep doing it, you know, just keep build base, build base, build base, so, we're going to see what we can do, might raid a couple of shit shacks, I don't know, I need to get a base up first, I've killed a bear, I've got some low grade, that's just tip top tiddly whack, that is just awesome. Thank you, wonder if I brought that down, if there'd be loot in there. Oh, that's an unlocked TC. Um, how the fuck am I gonna get up there? Okay. Well, there's stuff in the TC which makes me there's stuff in the thingy. Eh, eh. Oh, so close. Yes! We're thinking it decayed. I'm thinking it decayed. Strange turn of events here. What you got for me? Sweet fuck all. Double door though? I'll take that, I guess. I'm going to have to come back and destroy his TC when I've got the stuff for it. There's obviously, there's obviously stone in it, and wood, I think. Just no metal. A semi. What the fucking start? No rifle bullets, though. Okay, okay, cool. 
If there's any one thing I've learnt in Rust in all of my years of playing this game, it is never, ever pass up the opportunity for an early game raid on a TC, which is obviously blatantly got stuff in it when the base around it isn't decaying. This TC is going to have at least stone in it, if not wood, if not scrap. It is so close to my base, I built here specifically to raid this guy, it's 100% on right now. I just have to make this jump back into here. Oh, first time this time, get in. That's still there, I will take that for some extra wood, why not? And yeah, let's get this going. I'd preferably be doing with this with swords right now, uh, just like literally just hitting it out, but I couldn't find one and I tried, I was like, I was going up to pa trash piles and I was like, this is going to have a sword in it, and it didn't, so here we are. Last shot, all or nothing, never say never, 200 scrap, that's, uh, that's all I needed, that's all I wanted right now, all day long, that's just easy, easy money, you don't get better than that, 200 scrap for a few handmade shells, yes, please sir. Finally, finally the raid redemption is made and that is what counts, right? I should probably farm right now, but I really need tools, I need etc, 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 but I think what I'm instead going to do is maybe go and do another raid because I'm, I'm itching now it's gone well. Now this one being on a triangle piece, probably airlocked, although there are his little feats. It's got two chances, right? Coming at you. Metal door. Now that, that I wasn't expecting. Okay, that was, that was that's brought us right out back down to earth there. I'll give you that. I'll, I'll give you that one. And that, my friends, ends today's Rust tale. I hope you have enjoyed it. And that, it's been a tale of woe, of sadness, but of redemption and joy. And that is what Rust is all about, guys. You can't let it get you down, because it will. Oh, it will get you down, but it's the big things, it's the big thing to get over the little hurdles. So here we go again. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Tills. You guys have been your absolutely, as normal, incredible selves. What we will be doing next time is either staying on this server or perhaps, and probably most likely, starting again. But hopefully, hopefully, we have a nice, glorious start as we did this wipe. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos from this wipe, this like little segment here I'm probably just gonna be playing for fun for the rest of the week probably not recording too much but if you guys do want to see it please do please 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 make sure you do leave the likes that I need down below just to show that you guys did enjoy this different type of episode too a little bit of post commentary if you will um, otherwise if you do like I said at the beginning smash the likes leave me comments etc 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 new video on Friday. So thank you very much guys. I will catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. Subscribe. Peace out.